Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Good evening. how are you today? Fine. And you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Thank you. I guess I was worried because I had to go out today because I had a, a medical appointment and the traffic was really heavy. <laughs> so crazy. Yeah. So that's where I'm I'm running and I just sent the presentation. I'm, I do apologize for that. <laughs> I told you I was going to do that early, but it's been a very busy day. I'm sorry. But I'm here, I'm on time. Thank you you also for being on time. Okay, thank you. How was your day? Nice. Nice? Yes. Awesome. Is we it raining? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> like, I think it's going to rain, but uh, hopefully it doesn't. And if it does, please, please, internet, don't go down. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, um, well, yesterday we were about to finish section number four, right? We just missing just a couple of videos, two videos, just to reinforce vocabulary about activities, summer activities. Let us watch those videos. And then we're going to start with section number five. That one is really, um, it's really short. It's just the bird be in the past. So it's going to be um, easier than the simple past with other verbs. Let's check the vocabulary that we were missing yesterday. So, and I hope that the rest is going to join us later. So let's see. Okay. This is vocabulary, school vocabulary, and that can be useful also for the next unit because, yes, maybe we can discuss about things that we used to do in the past, right? Of, of our school dates. So let's listen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing school. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Classes. History. Math. Physical education. Science. Schools. College. Elementary. High. Junior high. Places. Classroom. Gym. Lunchroom, playground. Now, I would like for you to do a couple of things. First, I would like for you to categorize the vocabulary into three different sections, classes, schools, and places. For example, under places, you can add classroom. Then, I would like for you to ask and answer questions in the past using the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, where did you go to elementary school? What were your favorite subjects in high school? Try to make as many questions and answers as possible. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Any question about the video that we so no questions? No se mira nada. Really? No se mira? I hear some churritos there, so I'm going to mute. <laughs> okay, so uh, that was vocabulary that we so made. Uh, 
Um, can you see my screen? I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And here we have some other vocabulary, and this is um, um, like two part words of things or activities that we may do, and they are um, they can go together. Let's see. Find two words from the list that go with each verb in the chart. For example, with get, we have we cannot say get camping or get softball or get swimming. The most appropriate here is get what? Get a job, right? What about go? Go what? Go swimming. Okay, that can be uh, go swimming. Mm -hmm. Have. Happy. Fun. Yes, have fun. Mm -hmm. Meet. New people. New people. Mm -hmm. Play. Volleyball. Volleyball, okay. Take. A class. Okay, that might be for the first line. And then you can find some other activities here that go with the same verbs. For example, here, we can also say get a new bike, like here, right? Any other that go with this one? Camping. Camping as well, go camping, uh-huh. With have besides fun, because you say have fun, right? It's divertirse, have fun. Another? A picnic. Have a picnic, okay. Now with meet, we said new people. What else? Old Can friends. We? Old friends as well. What about play? Softball. Softball or volleyball, good. And take a trip. A trip. Okay, so we can say take a trip as well or take a class. And those are for summer activities and we can use this vocabulary. Vamos a ver el cartelito completo para ubicarnos mejor. Okay, here are all the answers. So we may say get a job, get a new bike, go camping or go swimming, have fun or have a picnic, meet new people or meet new old friends. You might say play softball or play volleyball. You can say take a class or take a trip. And also we can use the vocabulary talking about last summer. For example, if someone asks you, what did you do last summer? Can you use some of these activities to describe what you did in the last summer? Then you may say, oh, last summer I but we need to translate this into past. So I say, I took, I took a trip. I met all friends. I had fun with them and we went swimming. Mm -hmm. What about you? Did you do any of these activities last summer? Yes or no? Uh, no, I didn't. None of these ones? No. Didn't you have fun last summer? Well, maybe that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you had fun last summer. Mm -hmm. Didn't you meet all friends in the last summer?
No, I didn't, but I I think that I'm going to to do this activity in the oh. next next uh, summer. Holiday, maybe. Next yes. holiday? Okay, then the Holy Week. Yes, maybe in Holy Week. <laughs> okay, nice. And the rest of you, did you do any of these activities last summer? The idea is to practice. Okay, so maybe as a homework. And well, finally, to finish the section number four, we have the reading about Ricky Martin. And after the reading, you have an exercise that you may do whenever you have time. His biggest hit, Live in La Vida. So we're going to listen and read, and then we're going to discuss in case that we find new vocabulary. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in scanning, reading for specific information, and sequencing events. Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24, 1971. He was always a performer. As a child, he appeared in television commercials and studied singing. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. He worked hard with them, and he became very well known, but he left the group after five years. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spanish-language albums. After this success, he moved back to the U.S. Back in the U.S., he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show Les Miserables. Then he made his first English-language album. That album was called Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Livin' La Vida Loca, was on that album. Now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard, and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there you had the reading. Right. Okay, so that was the reading. Uh, let me find it and the second lesson. Give me one second. Let me play this here. Uh, let's see. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, I made a mistake here. Pero les puse la reading de la section five. Bueno, vamos un paso adelante entonces. Let me share the screen. And yes, this is the topic uh, for section number five. Ya nos adelantamos con la reading. Sorry for that. <laughs> okay, so let's see. The first topic here is the statements with the past of B. As we were saying, vamos a um, estar estudiando el pasado simple con el verbo B. Okay, so we have... Uh, Thank you, Juan. 
estaba la, la plataforma, la dejé en la sección 5, entonces por eso les puse el reading de la 5, pero igual, after each reading, solo están los ejercicios de la plataforma, no hay nada más que hacer, más que pues si hay alguna palabra nueva, discutirla, y pues para practicar pronunciación, recuerden que pueden ir eh, escuchando y practicando lo que escuchan en las readings. Eh, ustedes hacen un muy buen trabajo con pronunciación. Está bien que practiquen un poco más para agarrar como nada más fluidez. Now, uh, the statements with the past of B. As you may recall, maybe you have studied this topic before, the verb B in past is um, conjugated as was and were. Okay. In present, you remember that the verb be is am, um, is are. But in past, it's only two. It was and were. And for the singular subject, I, he, she, it, we're going to use was. For we, you, they, we're going to use were. Okay. Um, y es igual que en, en presente es ser o estar, en pasado es eh, fui o estuve, ¿verdad? Igual depende del contexto. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, uh, my father was um, a good man. What am I saying that? ¿Qué estoy haciendo ahí? ¿Qué estoy diciendo? My father was a good man. A description. Uh -huh. I'm describing the kind of person that my father was. My father was a good man. And if I say, uh, my best friend um, was at work yesterday, What am I inferring there? Ahí estaría sí. diciendo, mi amiga estuvo en el trabajo ayer. So, es, es básicamente, bueno, el significado es el mismo, solo que ya sería en pasado, ¿verdad? El mismo cero a estar, nada más que en pasado. Y solamente estamos con sujeto I, he, she, it, que son las personas singulares. Cuando hablamos de una persona singular usamos was y para las personas plurales y la segunda persona que es you utilizamos were. Y tenemos algunos ejemplos aquí. I was tired last night. I was born in Australia. We were at home yesterday. You were in bed last night. You, um, they were late five days ago, and he was ill last week. So um, also to talk about, um, también para hablar de cuando nacimos, cuando, la, cuando para dar esta, ese dato de decir a dónde nací o cuando nací, se usa el verbo be. Aquí tenemos un ejemplo, I was born, In Australia, ¿qué está diciendo? Nació en Australia. Que nació en Australia. Entonces, yes, es, es otra eh, cuestión para la cual utilizamos el verbo to be para hablar de procedencia, de dónde nacimos, etc. Y eh, vamos a ver el video donde se explica un poco más sobre el verbo be. Luego vamos a practicar una conversación y vamos a, a ver un poco de gramática. Nada más ahorita empezando con las statements, con oraciones, con el pasado de be. Vamos a ver afirmativas, negativas, etc. Teacher, uh -huh. did, you, did you send us the, this presentation? 
Yes, a couple of minutes uh, before the class, como un par de okay. minutos. Déjenme ver si se la mandé a usted y no la mandé a otro lado. Venía corriendo con este tráfico. Sí, está lloviendo. Estoy viendo aquí que me están escribiendo que está lloviendo. Aquí ya me tiró todas las puertas. Sorry. Ok. Sí se las mandé. Ahorita ya revisé. Sí se las mandé. Okay. Es la que dice section 5. Yes. ¿Ya la encontraron? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. Yes, I got it. Fantastic. Okay, so we have uh, the first video of this section, which is the last one. Statements with the past of B. Let's watch the video and then we're going to practice. Hi everyone. In this class you learn to form positive and Can you hear it? Pueden escuchar. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Yes, okay. yes teacher. Negative yes, teacher. statements using the past of be. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good, too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. We can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with be. Subject plus was or where plus complement. We need to remember the following. For the pronouns you, we, and they, we will use where. And for the pronouns I, he, she, and it, we will use was. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I was born in Korea. First we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, was. Finally we will include a complement born in Korea. Let's do one more example. We were born in the same year. First we need to add a subject we, then we will use the verb to be in the past, where. Finally we will include a complement, born in the same year. Now let's talk about making negative statements in the past with B. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with B. Subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the US. First we need to add a subject I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past 
in its negative form wasn't I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not but we will typically use contractions finally we include a complement born in the US let's analyze one more example they weren't in the US in 1998 first we need to add the subject day then we'll use the verb to be in the past in its negative form weren't I would like to point out that this is the same as saying were not but we will typically use contractions finally we include a complement and the US in 1998. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past with be about yourself, friends, and family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, uh, we will go to the first activity that you may uh, see in the video, which was the conversation. Am I sharing the screen, right? Okay, just the, el dibujito es diferente, but conversation is the same. So we're going to listen this one, and I'm going to pause so that you can repeat at home. Page 100, Exercise 2, Conversation. I was born in South Korea. Listen and practice. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in South Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. No, I came here in 2005. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yeah, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good, too. I hope so. I was born here. Page 100, Exercise 2, Conversation. I was born in South Korea. Listen and practice. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in South Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. No, I came here in 2005. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yeah. I was only 17.
Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good, too. I hope so. I was born here. Okay, do you have any questions about this conversation? No. No questions? Okay, so um, the conversation is there in the PowerPoint I sent before the class. So we're going to proceed to create the breakout rooms and practice this conversation. Let me check here, how many people is here? Oh, a few people. Let's make four. Mm, right. Thanks. Okay. Okay, yes. Next, the uh, next group. Imperatriz. Okay. Te voy a hacer. Stop. Okay. 
Hi, Melissa. Okay. Where were you from, Melissa? I was born in South Korea. Oh, so you were born in the USA? No, I came here in Taxa Estosa. Two thousand. In two thousand five. Two thousand five. Two thousand five. Okay. Mm, you were pretty young. Yeah, I was only seventeen. Did you go to college right away? No, my English was wasn't very good. So I took English class for two years first. Where? Your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. I hope so. I was born here. Okay. Hey, hey, nice. hey, hey. <laughs> Solo eh, para recordarles, eh, cuando digan first, no se dice first, se dice first, como pronunciando una yes. E en vez de la I. Uh -huh. sí, y, y, para, y para el año do, 2005, ¿cómo es? 2005. 2005. 2005. 2005. 2005. 2005. 2005. 2005. 2005. 2005. 2005. Korea. I South, 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 South Korea. South Korea. South Korea. 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 Uh -huh. Korea. Uh -huh. Korea. Uh -huh. Tenemos que pronunciar siempre en inglés porque nos, lo vemos en español Korea. y decimos Corea, ¿verdad? Pero yeah. no, tenemos que pronunciarlo como Korea. 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 South Korea. South Korea. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thanks, teacher. Uh -huh. Continue practicing. Change. Okay, be okay. Okay. Entonces, change, change the, uh, uh, the paper. Cambiamos mm -hmm. el papel. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in South Korea. Okay. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 2005. Mm, you were pretty young. One more time. Okay. Okay, again. Yeah, I am sure. More, more fluency. I am sure. I'm Melissa. I'm Melissa. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in South Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in 2005. Mm, you were pretty young. Yeah, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. I hope so, I was born here. Again, the other one. <laughs> okay. Uh... Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in South Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in 2005. Mm, you were... Huh? Okay. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. in the U.S. No, I am from here in the two house. No. Two thousand. No, two thousand five. Five. Okay. 
I came. I came here in 2005. Mm, you were pretty young. Yeah, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English was very good. So wasn't, wasn't, wasn't. Wasn't, wasn't very good. So I took English class for two years first. 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 Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is very good too. Pretty, pretty good too. Pretty, pretty. pretty. Okay. I hope so. I was born here. Hola, me escuchan. Sí. 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 Sí, sí. Laura. Es que está lloviendo mucho, pero me conecté del teléfono. Ah, ok. Ah, hoy sí le escuchamos. Yo solo las me... estaba escuchando, entonces eh, no pensé que me iban a escuchar. <risa> sí, pero sí le escuchamos. But you are Melissa. No sé Laura. si lo practico una vez. Claro, okay. claro, you are entonces, Melissa. No se termina el tiempo. You are Melissa. Okay, yo Chuck. Okay. Y where? Rosario es Chuck. Rosario es Chuck. Chuck. Bueno. Okay. Where were you born, Laura? I was born in so no. I was born in El Salvador. <laughs> oh, so you weren't uh, born in the Soya Bank. No, I came here in, ¿cómo se dice, Máximo? 2005. 2005. And you were very, permítame que me pusiera una, una letra en la pantalla. John, John, John. And you were very John. Ya no está. Ya no está, se fue. No, sí. Yeah, I was bueno. only seven. Did sí. you go, did you go to college, right? College, college. College. College, right? College. College, right? Right away. Right, right away. away. Right away. No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English really? Really, really. really. No. It's really. really. Okay, we're back again. I think that you practice enough. Creo que se lo memorizaron y que lo podrían decir sin ver la presentación, ¿verdad? <laughs> That's nice that you were practicing. Me metí a todos los grupos. Estuve un ratito en cada grupo. And I was really delighted listening to you practicing and doing your best. And you're also listening to your classmates helping you with the pronunciation. This is a very nice group. Son un muy buen grupo. A pesar de que son poquitos, no sé si siempre fueron poquitos. O yo fui de la mala suerte. O se fueron por mí. <laughs> But yes, you're a good group. Son un buen grupo. Me gusta ver cómo se ayudan y tienen una muy buena pronunciación. Pues al ratito con la fluidez ahí ya descubrí el secreto de Rosario, no lo diré. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, so you, Me cuesta un poco, teacher, pero... Pero lo está haciendo bien, Rosario, muy bien. So, um, we're going to continue. No los voy a poner ahora a practicar en la sección principal. Ya lo hicieron suficiente en sus grupos individuales. Ya los pude escuchar. Así es que vamos a seguir con el tema. Let's say. Right, so... We continue with the topic here, the simple past statements with the verb be. So what we discuss in the platform is that first to make an affirmative statement, you need to place the subject first. 
And then uh, the corresponding form of the verb be, meaning was a word depending on the subject. Va a depender del sujeto, vamos a poner was or were. Ya vimos en la presentación anterior, cuando usar was, ¿recuerdan cuando se usa was? When the subject is, cuando el sujeto es uh, singular. Ajá. Uh -huh. I, he, she, it. I, he, she, it. Ajá. Uh -huh. Eh, you también es singular, pero con you usamos where, where, where. where. Ajá, porque you es segunda persona singular, pero también es el plural ustedes, ¿verdad? So, con you usamos where, al igual que con we y they. Luego del verb be, uh, un complemento. And tenemos unos ejemplos ahí. Y para hacer la forma negativa, a diferencia de lo que estuvimos viendo estos días anteriores, no se usa el auxiliar didn't, sino que se usa el mismo, el mismo verb be, o sea, was o were, y se agrega el not. Para hacer una, for, una oración negativa, siempre vamos a usar o was o were y not, eh, que contractado es, acá lo tienen, wasn't. Equals was not and weren't equals were not. And we have a couple of examples here. As you may see. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta con esto de cómo formar oraciones afirmativas y negativas con el pasado de B. No. Mm -hmm. no. No. Okay, good. So we have a, a short exercise here. Tenemos un ejercicio. Acá lo pueden hacer en su cuaderno y luego vamos a chequearlo. So we need to complete uh, this paragraph y tenemos las dos opciones. So we got in parentheses was or were. In some cases it is negative, but we have to read and decide which of the two options in parentheses is the one that we're going to use. Okay, so I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to do this and then we're going to check.
Did you finish? No yes, yet? teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, teacher. I'm going to start reading. I'm going to stop when I find a period and someone else is going to continue. Okay, I start. My family and I were born in South Korea. We weren't born in the US. Maximo? I was born in the city of Incheon. And my brother was born there too. Okay, excellent. Who continues? Maximo? It is. It is. It is. My Hi. parents. Hi. My parents. Hi. My parents. Es el párrafo número. Ah, my, my, my parents. parents. My parents. Eh, a ver. Weren't born in. In Seoul. Who continues, Iris? They. Um, ¿Quién continúa? ¿Quién continúa? Sí. Escoja a alguien, Iris. Uh, Laura. Are you there, Laura? Hola, buenas noches. Es que casi no les escuchaba. Por... It's raining. Tiene malo el internet. El audio. Ok, a volunteer to continue. Hola. Hi, teacher. Ok, continue. Hasta Luis. <laughs> Thanks, Maximo. <laughs> Go, Luis. Amigos. Ok. <laughs> ok. They were born in the capital, Seoul. Uh -huh. Who continues, Luis? Um, Evie. I'm sorry, Evie. Oh, well, Corey, my father was a businessman, and my father was. And... <laughs> Más o menos le alcancé a escuchar, ¿verdad? Pero sí. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, we're going to see. Uh, let me share the other part of the screen. So we can see all the answers together. Let me move this. Uh, this was the little paragraph that we just completed. So here it is. Let's repeat. My family and I were all born in South Korea. My family and I were all born in, born in South, South Korea. Korea. We weren't born in the US. We weren't born in the US. I was born in the city of Aegean. I was, I was born, born in the city in the of Korea. And my brother was born there too. And, and my, my brother, brother, my brother, brother was born there, there too. too. My parents weren't born in Egypt. My, my parents, parents, parents were born in Egypt. They were born in the capital, Seoul. They were born in the capital, Seoul. In South Korea. <laughs> in South Korea. South Korea. My father was a businessman and my mother was a teacher. My father was a businessman. My mother was a teacher. My mother was a teacher. Excellent. So that was pretty easy, right? Yeah. Yes, teacher. 
Can yes. you write at least a couple of sentences similar to this about you and your family? You have one minute. Tienen un minuto para escribir un par de oraciones así acerca de usted y su familia. No, párrafo, ya no nos da el tiempo. Just a couple of sentences similar to this one. <laughs> Do we have any volunteer? Lo que tengan pueden leer, no importa si son una, dos oraciones o tres. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, Maximo. My family and I were all born in El Salvador. We weren't born in Guatemala. Excellent job. Thank you so much. Anybody else? Okay. I, I was born in the city of San Salvador. In the city of San Salvador. And my brother was born here too. Excellent. Well done. Thank you so much. Anybody else? My mother was born in Honduras. My father was born in El Salvador. And you, Rosario? I was born in Sayapango. You can say I was born in Sayapango. Excellent. Thank you so much, Rosario. Thank you, all of you. I hope that you sleep well to, uh, today and see you tomorrow to continue with this topic. Thank you for joining. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.